Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is um, a tutorial and a review on the dynamic elevator mod. Let's get, so I'm going to get in, into it and show you what it's like. Made it my little elevator thing in my house. Let's go to it. Voila, here we are. Um, I'm gonna try and fly and show you my house. I don't, what? I don't think it's gonna work. Um, no, I don't. Yeah, I think I oh, keep something's wrong. I don't, oh well, he gives a shit. Um, I'm gonna go in here. Um, what the hell's the fence doing there? Okay. All right, this is what it ready. That's what this is like? Let's go down. All right, voila, voila. Yeah, <clears throat> so that's that. Now I'm going to show you. That is the elevator button. You can only use that on the um, elevator caller or you know, elevator. So yeah, I've got the elevator right there. Let's just get that. Yeah, because you only use the elevator button on on the. I can't use it on anything else but um, elevator. Have to have yeah. So I'll just explain. All right. I should really see it comes up, but hang on, I'll just take it. This is the options of the uh, elevator. You can um, you can choose where you want it. You can like you know tick whatever. And then when you're done, you click apply. So I'll just take it up. There we go. So I'm down here, and I want the elevator. What I do is I press this button, the elevator caller, and it shall come down to me. There we go. Now I right click it and press one, and it go, should go down. Oh, stopped. What the hell? Try and fix it. Oh, there we go. So yeah, that's what that does. So um. Uh, I hope that's like that review of the elevator mod. Now I'm going to go and show you how to install it. Yep, here we are. Alright, this is how to install the dynamic elevator mod. Let's get into it. You're going to need the mod loader, mod loader MP, and the dynamic elevator mod. These three items will be in the description. So yeah, let's get into it. Go down to your start and type percent app data percent and then click and then press enter you go to your roaming folder double click dot minecraft and then go into your bin bin folder find your minecraft dot jar right click it and go open with winrar archiver so that and you should see like a meta inf somewhere in there so you delete that if you haven't just skip that skip the step which I already have because I deleted, deleted it because I've already got it installed. Open up Mod Loader and drag all the files from Mod Loader into your Minecraft.jar. But I already have it installed, so I don't want to fuck it up. So yeah, once you've done that, you can close out of that. Open up your Mod Loader MP, highlight all these files and drag them into your Minecraft.jar, which I have already done it. So I don't want to do it, as I said, I'm going to wreck my Minecraft or whatever. So once you know that, you can close out of that. Open up your dynamic elevator mod. See, there's a GUI folder in there, don't worry about that. It'll be right, I'll show you what to do with that in a sec. First, just highlight all those little white PG thingies, whatever. Get all that into your Minecraft.jar. Already done it, once again. Open up your GUI. First, just minimize it. Go into your Minecraft.jar and find your GUI folder. Open it up and highlight those two GUI folders in the dynamic elevator mod and drag them into your Minecraft.jar GUI folder. And once you've done that, close everything and you are done. So, I'm right, comment, subscribe. If there are any problems, just leave something in the comments and um, see ya. I hope you enjoyed.